Okay, so hey guys, and welcome back to another predictions video. In today's video, I'm going to be predicting the Swarms vs. Speedy vs. Nick Lamau vs. Johnston fight. If you are new around here and you haven't subscribed, please do so. Like the video if you need like the video, and let's get straight into it. So, of course, with the usual cards, go through the whole card, not just the main fight, just because there might not be loads to analyse about each individual fight, or yeah, enough to make a video on at least. Um, so, starting off with Steen vs. Dean. I don't really know either too much about this fight. Um, I believe Dean's a guy on TikTok. Steen is... I don't really know. I think he's a taller guy, though. Um, and I've decided to go with Steen to win. I think he might have had a fight before Steen. Might be wrong. But, yeah, I'm going to go with him to win. Moving on now to something which I know absolutely nothing about this fight. Grady versus Magic Crasher. Um, I've gone with Magic Crasher. Just because he has a more interesting name. And Crasher sounds like something violent. Um, so, I'm going to go with him to win. Um... Not the best of analysis so far, but I'm sure it'll get better. Um, moving on now to Umbaya versus Corn in their rematch. Their first fight was quite good. I believe Umbaya won that one. Might be wrong, but I think he did. Um, and I'm going to go with Umbaya to win again. Not really going to give too much of an analytical reason why, but I'm just going to say that I think he'll win that one again. And that's the end of the happy punch kind of pre-card thing. Moving on now to Herrera versus Action Man. Uh, action man of course kind of lives up to his name he's that big muscular kind of don and so i'm gonna go with him to win it seems like he's gonna have the actual athleticism but i suppose it doesn't really work out in the way of gas tank if he's gonna be getting outworked but either way i think that he's gonna win moving on now to belcher versus ramar jr uh ramar jr is coming off his loss to um greg hardy and his loss before that against Morrison I believe so he's coming off back to back losses I believe unless I'm missing something but I think he is um, and so things haven't really been great for him but he's kind of seemingly sticking around this space because probably is where he's going to get the money even when he's not fighting very well it's just because he is quite a big name in this space now especially um, Belcher I don't really know too much he seems like quite a big tough looking bloke and so I'm going to go with Belcher to win bit of maybe surprising because of course Ramon Jr is the professional boxer and all of that well on paper um, but I think that Belcher and Ramon's had trouble with the bigger guys and the bigger fighters and just maybe this weight isn't the best for him um, but I feel like Belcher will probably be somebody that's gonna like dig deep hit quite hard and that's just kind of the two things that Ramon it doesn't really like and so yeah I'm gonna go with Belcher victory Moving on now to Taylor versus Bamba, another professional boxing fight. Um, and this one, Bamba, don't really know too much about him. I know he's meant to fight Tommy Fury. Know he's also a bit of a journeyman. Know that he also just wants to knock about this space to get money. Same with Brian uh, Anthony Taylor. He's just been doing it for longer and he's been having more success. He's coming off the win versus Salt Papi. And he definitely has that kind of journeyman type style, Taylor. He's not always fighting to win. He's just fighting to not lose and it can make it tough and especially for fighters that want to be entertaining like Assault Pappy it can make it tough and that's why he won that fight but credit to him you can't really discredit the win in the at the end of the day so I'm going to go with Taylor to win this one again I think he's not going to have too much of a problem with this and yeah he's going to be able to get the victory moving on now to Dean the Great plus a mystery opponent versus Yudi Gang TV and a pop I believe Yudi Gang TV has already had a fight can't remember if he won or not. APAP, I think he might have had a fight as well. I can't really say too much because, of course, there is a mystery fighter. Dean the Great, though, is a great fighter. And, like, in this space especially, he's a great fighter. And so I'm going to go with him and the mystery opponent to win. I can't really give too much of an analysis because, like I said, he's a mystery opponent. You don't really know anything about him. Um, and then moving on now to the main event, Swarms versus Speed Ave versus Nick Lamau versus Johnson. Um... Of course, this is a like what four man thing. It's a bit difficult and it's difficult to understand for myself. But um, it's happening. I'm not really a massive fan of it, but it's happening at the end of the day. And so, it's a four man tournament. I've looked at the rules. There was a rules video that was released um, just yesterday, I believe, and it seems interesting. I'm gonna go with Nick Lamal win just on technical boxing ability alone. He looked very good versus Swingler. A lot of people thought he won. I probably would have had to agree. And 
I think out of everybody in this four man thing, he's looked and shown the best boxing ability. So I'm going to go with him to win. I don't really know if boxing ability realistically plays much of a factor in this. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go over and let Nick Lamal win. But yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you did enjoy. Like, if you did, like, subscribe if you're new. And thanks for watching.